I wanted to start with problem one from chapter five, section two. Uh, not because it has anything new, but because we as a group have secret math knowledge that whoever was writing this problem did not intend for us to have. So we were presented with this table of values for the function f of x and asked to approximate the integral from zero to 15 of f of x to x using the average of the left and right hand sum. It wasn't explicitly stated because, you know, they get lazy when they're writing problems. So I'm just gonna assume that they wanted to use n equals five that is a delta x of three. But because we have secret math knowledge, instead of calculating the left and right and then finding the average, we can go directly to the average with the trapezoidal rule, which is what I would like to do. I would like to say, let's do trap five. It's gonna be the average, so we're gonna be able to factor out the delta x, which is three, and we're making an average, left plus right divided by two. So here's the divided by two. And then we're going to start off with the 51 is the only thing, is, is only the left of this, sorry, 51 is the left of this first box and 47 is the right of this first rectangle. But 47 is also the left of the second rectangle. So we're going to have two 47s in our sum that we're going to go on to divide by two. So we're going to have a 51 plus two copies of 47. plus two copies of 44, plus two copies of the 35, plus two copies of the 28, and only one copy of the six, because the six is not in the left-hand sum, but it is in the right-hand sum, so it only shows up once. And then, this looks like a lot of adding and subtracting, so, I'm definitely gonna have my calculator to do that. So I'm gonna have delta x divided by two because we're making an average. And I have a 51, two 47s, two 44s, two 35s, two 28s, and one six. So 40, 51, two 47s, two 44s, two 35s, two 28s, and one six. So 547.5. I spelled five wrong. Any questions? Can you remind me what the n equals five means? Uh, the n equals five means we're taking the interval from zero to 15 and we're breaking it up into one, two, three, four, five rectangles. So we're thinking of the five subdivisions and we're uh, actually making it five trapezoids. So five sub intervals. Graphically on the X axis, I think I could put this in. Uh, on the X axis, graphically, we're putting a mark at three, six, nine, 12 and 15. And we're imagining we have just these values. So we got 0, 51, 51, 47, 44, 35, 28, and 6. And so here are the five. Here's a delta x of 3. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 subintervals. Thank you. I was just. I'm like, I forgot what the n was. Yeah, n is the number of subintervals. So if we take the 15 is the, is the range and divide it by the five, that's where we get the delta x of three. Any other questions? That's why I wanted to do this problem because we have secret math knowledge. You all have advanced math knowledge that the book does not expect you to use. So you have a secret move when you came to this boss fight. I guess in the modern video game, you would have paid extra money to have this particular maneuver. You would unlock that by buying a loot box. We'd have the cheat codes. Yeah, cheat or a Game Shark cheat code. Micro. No one knows what a Game Shark is. 
All right, what was, so anyway, uh, let's stop the recording here and um, continue with the one problem per video that I've been, for some reason, utilizing. Mostly because we're doing different things in all these problems. So let's pause the video here and go on to another problem.